As you might know, the scheduler is the home screen of Endobase, which shows the list of examinations and allows you to select the right patient for documentation. Depending on whether your Endobase system is integrated with your hospital information system, information will be populated here automatically or will need to be added in manually. At the top of the screen, you will see the module icons, which we navigate from left to right to complete the documentation workflow. Moving down, we have our column headers, which sort the information for your procedure or examination list. By clicking on a column header, you'll be able to set a filter for that column. So the column header becomes highlighted in blue. For example, if you only want to see a particular type of examination being done in this list, you'll be able to set a filter for that particular column. Just be wary that if a filter is set, this will hide the other information. So if sometimes you find that you can't find a particular examination that should be on this list, it's always good to check whether there are any active filters. You can deactivate the filter by clicking on it again so it becomes unhighlighted. Just under the column headers is a grey strip which allows you to sort the data. A typical sort will be in the order of the time an examination is scheduled to start. But you can also sort for other columns as well. A black arrow will appear to indicate where and how the information is being sorted. Moving to the right of the screen, you can see the date of the examination list being displayed. If you want to see a list of examinations on a previous date or a date in the future, you can toggle the date by using the arrows left and right to go back and forward in dates. You can also go to a particular date by pressing the month button. To return back to today's date, just click the today button. The icons in the column header in the far right are the examination status indicators. You will see an X or a number in the column if that step has been completed for this examination. The examination icon tells you if the examination has been created for this patient. Under the camera icon, that tells you the number of images acquired for this particular examination. The video camera column tells you whether there was any video captured and the envelope shows whether a report has been created for this examination. As you progress through your list, you will see these different indicators being populated. Towards the bottom left of the screen, you can add, edit or delete the examination. Lastly, but most importantly, to select the right examination you're going to be working on, you will need to click on that row so that it becomes highlighted, as this will select the correct examination for you to perform the next steps in documentation.